what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Cater to You was one of Destiny's Child's most popular songs. Now, Black Twitter is trying to dun, 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 get the song canceled. The song went viral on Wednesday, and they're claiming that the song was for the pygmies of the world. A pygmy woman is a woman that will do anything for a man. She'll bend over backwards to please her man. According to this world of hating, catering women, a pick me will embarrass or throw other women under the bus to achieve this goal. She will bend over backwards to be liked by a man. She will always make herself available to him, neglect her children if need be, drop her friends to free up time in her schedule, loan him money. On top of it, the men they are generally trying to get approval from are of poor quality and treat them badly. This is what they're saying. Let's analyze the lyrics of Cater to Me. Let me help you take off your shoes, untie your shoestrings, take off your cufflinks. What you want to eat, boo? Let me feed you. Let me run your bath water. Whatever you desire, I'll supply you. Sing your song. Turn my game on. I'll brush your hair, help you put your do-rag on. Want a rub? Want a foot rub? Yeah. Want a manicure? Baby, I'm yours. I want to cater to you, boy. Hey, let me tell you something, fam. Uh, I ain't got no problem with that. As a man, I ain't got no problem with that. That's right. No problem. Now, let me tell you something I know for a fact that women ain't got no problem with. There's a song called Soon As I Get Home by Babyface. And the words go a little something like this. I give good love. I'll buy your clothes. I'll cook your dinner too. Yes. Soon as I get home from work, I'll pay your rent. Your faithful lover Ooh, baby, soon as I get home, soon as I get home from work, girl, I'll treat you right, and I'll never lie. For all that is worth, I'll give good love. Now, fam, here's what I don't understand. I don't understand what the problem is with catering to your significant other. To me, that's what relationships are all about. Catering to one another. I think if more people did that, that you wouldn't have as much drama in relationships as you have. And catering to each other don't just mean doing stuff for each other or buying and all that type of stuff. It's su supplying emotional support. It's encouraging. It's supporting. You know, it's not just being generous. You know, it's spending quality time. It's being that backbone, that reinforcement that person that you ain't got to worry about betraying you, that person who got your back. What in the hell are you in a relationship for if you can't get those things? There's an old saying, fam. I can do bad all by myself. What I need anybody for if they can't do those things? Now, of course, some of these songs, you got to be able to kind of like Take it with a grain of salt. You know some of this stuff is exaggerated, but not for 
Some people, some people will do all of those things, whatever their spouse will want them to do. But my question is this, fam. If it works for that particular couple, who are you or I to try to discourage them from having that type of relationship? Who are you or I to try to discourage him or her from catering to their particular partner? From giving good love. See, I just feel like it's a whole lot of bitter ass people out there. They're bitter. They can't figure it out. And misery loves company. They don't want you to figure it out. That's why you have homegirls who give you bad advice about your relationship because she don't want to see you beat her to the altar. She don't want to see you get married. She don't want to see that relationship work out. That's why as soon as dudes do something, anything off, she like, oh, you should get rid of him. He ain't nothing. She be trying to get you to hook up with other dudes. Same thing with dudes. He don't want the, your relationship to work out. You know, he, he a failure. He ain't no good with women. He know if you get somebody solid, then he ain't got no hangout partner anymore. So he don't want to see you work your situation out. See, I'm totally opposite. When I see uh, a friend or a family member in a strong relationship, Man, I let all my home, look, man, I ain't got nothing to do. Any, if any one of them remotely think about doing something slick, I'm like, man, I ain't got nothing to do. Don't put me in it. Don't use my name. Don't put me in it. I'm not introducing you to no chicks or none of that. I'm not playing that game. I don't want no parts of it because I don't want to be in those women's faces smiling and sitting at their table, eating dinner, eating their food, uh, sucking up the air and their comfort in their home. And, you know, laughing or, you know, being all in these people's face and, and knowing that I'm contributing to, you know, some type of uh, strife in their home. You know, I don't want to be no part of that. I don't help facilitate that type of stuff at all. I don't, I don't respect it. I don't promote it. But you got people that do. You got a lot of people out there that do. Just like you got people that get mad on Valentine's Day. They ain't got no Valentine. So when they see you posting stuff about you showing your flowers off or showing your gift off or y'all hanging out in Malibu or at the pool, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, they get hot. They be mad. They be going in. That's why I don't think it's a good idea to share all your stuff on social media. Like, some people share every little thing that their spouse do on social media. Like, they just got to put it in, the, in everybody's face. And the average person do not want to see you succeed no way. Especially the people on social media. They don't, they, they might like your stuff, but they're just liking it out of reaction. They are, they're just liking it so you don't block them. They don't really care nothing about your relationship. They want you to fail. A lot of these people are just miserable. How you gonna be mad at a song called Cater to You? I thought that's what we were supposed to do. Cater to each other. I don't get it, fam. This, this, what I wanna know is this, for those people out there that have that type of attitude, those people who are just negative when it comes to relationships and people really riding for each other. I want to know, do you think perhaps that this uh, negative energy, this vibe that you have, your uh, inability to be in a non-toxic, healthy relationship has anything to do with your attitude? with you bringing that baggage 
from past relationships into the new ones. You, you think that might be some type of connection there? I do. People want to cater, let them cater. It don't cost you nothing to get out of the way. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.